<laughs> you know, um, I thought there were some really bright points that they had in the last two games. And what has to change, obviously, uh, is to make some buckets in that. And I think, again, uh, we played great defense throughout the course of this past weekend. We just can't keep the pressure on our defense without putting pressure on people by scoring buckets and putting your opponents, putting some pressure on their defense as well, too. So uh, we've done a good job the course of the last couple of days just to travel back and yesterday bouncing back, and they'll be ready to play come this Thursday. How much does TP struggles personally really hampering the whole team offensively? You know, um, I mean, it is what it is right now, and he's, he's going through a little, a little bit of a slump that he needs to kind of play his way out of it. but. Um, we need for him to make buckets, and that's not putting too much pressure on him. That's just the fact of the matter that he has to play, but then Mike has to play, JJ has to play, Malcolm has to play. Everybody's got to kind of be on their game at the same time. Uh, we seem to have a little bit of a couple guys who play, one guy won't play, and things like that, and we've talked about that. So it's not about putting pressure on TV. It's just about seeing him through this, this little slump he's in right now, pushing through it and everything. Is he doing anything technically wrong? No. He is not. The, the thing that, that you all have to realize, and all you got to do is sit down and watch tape with us, everybody, everybody runs on him. Everybody. The everybody's scouting report is TP. Whether everybody here thinks he's struggling, not the reason he's struggling for a reason. And it's TP, and the next guy is Mike. And that's everybody's scouting report to shut down on those guys. And we look at film after tape after tape, and everybody is just running at him and, and taking the shots away from him. So, therefore, that puts you kind of a pressing situation. I think it would really help him if, again, uh, our scoring was taking place all over the floor, and he got some great looks for the first time in the Arizona State game. I thought he got some great looks in that game. He hasn't got those looks in a while uh, from the pressure the teams have been putting on him. Do you think at all about taking him out of the lineup and not starting him? You know, um, I, he's not a guy that works well coming off the bench. I, mean, I don't think um, uh, we need to not start him. We need to just help him understand that sometimes uh, he may have to defer that to somebody else to shoot the ball until he gets freed up a little bit more and then just be ready to shoot it. So uh, we've talked about a lot of things, and we've, we've talked about that, but we're not going to do that at this point in time uh, with him because I think uh, it's important to show him that we've got confidence in him, and we do. In the league, it's so, so much parity right now. How much of it does, comes down to just matchups, one team versus another, and how they match up with each other as opposed to? From week to week, are you talking? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think it's so much matchups. Uh, as it is just the ebbs and flows of shooting the ball, not shooting the ball, consistency. I mean, you can see it up and down the conference, uh, even somewhat with Stanford, but they're the most consistent team because of the veteran players. But, I mean, you can look at this phenomenal that's been in this conference all year long with the way uh, Washington has played on the road, Stanford has played on the road, and this and things You just team just up and down and all over the place. So I don't think it's matchups as it is just the consistency. And I go back again and say that the team that believes, uh, the team that works the hardest day in, day out, game in, game out, and who's on their game come game time, that's the bigger thing more so than matchup. Uh, Arizona State went through a little bit of a slump with, with Glasser. Now he's back playing good again. They played well this weekend. Uh, look at Arizona. They played well against us. Also, Nick Wise goes one for what? Ten, one for 11. Uh, look at Washington State. Reggie Moore goes one for 10. It's just, you know, you, you can look at it all up and down the conference and everybody's dealing with it.